Hey coaches and welcome to my channel where I discuss the perfect play football system. The perfect play football system is the most diverse, the most creative, and the most effective spread offensive system being used today at all levels from Little League all the way up through the NFL. Today's video example, we're going to talk about a screen pass combined with a quick game concept combined with power blocking. Please give me a thumbs up, add comments down below, subscribe to my channel, and please bang that bell for those notifications. Contact information, uh, I have a Twitter account per, at Perfect Play Football. Uh, email me at perfectplayfootball at gmail.com. Uh, the Perfect Play Football system that I use, I am a spread offensive consultant, and this would be the system uh, that I would uh, encourage you to implement. The Perfect Play Football System will teach you how to become your own offensive guru. Please contact me so that I can help you uh, learn how to become your own offensive guru where you don't have to go around and, and chase coaches at clinics or spring practice. Uh, it gives you a, a, a philosophy or helps you to create your own philosophy and how to implement uh, that philosophy. So let's get into the video. Okay, here we have our video example. This is a um, a play that uh, we combined three things going on in this play. Um, you will see that uh, this is uh, the last game of the regular season. This is a few years ago. And this we developed this and made it a one-word tempo play uh, because there's a lot of motion uh, being involved with that and what we were doing. This, Like I said, this was against a team. This was for the conference championship. So this was obviously very important um, to us. So, um, first of all, we get the we make the defense line up as a two by two set. Ball's in the middle of the field. I believe this was on a uh, following a kickoff, um, and it went into the end zone. So we had it in the middle of the field on the twenty yard line. So we have a two by two formation. We have the back offset to our left, uh, and we made the uh, defense set the front based on that. So the quarterback flips the back, and you can see some of the chaos that's being created here. Uh, the three technique, six technique, what are they going to do? Who's who's responsible for what? Uh, this team looked to set their front and responsibilities based on the back, where the back was. So we flipped the back. And then once we did that, they had to make some adjustments in the box. And then we motioned the guy across. Once we motion across, you can see more chaos being created and communication that has to take place in the box and on the perimeter. And then, of course, you can see the three things that's happening at this point. We have a, a quick game concept going on down here where, uh, and I'll go back over the rules of this. Then we have a swing screen going on to the, to the right of the formation. And then we have power blocking um, in the box itself. So let's go back and look at all this. Flipping the back. Motion. All right, now let's let's look at the rules, what we have uh, set up at this point. This player was, was going to run a six-yard hitch route. He was running number one outside player was going to run a go, and the motion guy was going to run a bubble. So we had a go outside, hitch by number two in the alignment, and then the third, the motion man, was going to run a bubble. On the right side of the formation, we were going to stalk block and swing the back and throw a swing screen to the to the right side of the formation. Internally in the box, we were going to uh, block power. So we have everyone blocking to the left, the left tackle basing the five technique. The right guard is going to pull and, and uh, block power where he gets up inside to the linebacker. This defender here, all right, the five technique on this side is unblocked. All right, he is the read man. All right, so we're not blocking him. Now, let's go back a little bit again and reset this and look and see um, what the rules are. First of all, the defense is added um, as two on two. So now we motion across. So we have changed the numbers. We have now made the numbers three, us three to their two. To me, as a quarterback, and what I try to teach the quarterback, this was the first time we ran this play uh, during the season, um, the ball should come to this perimeter quick game. He should hold it and throw it out. 
um, depending on the movement of those linebackers. This linebacker here kind of created doubt in his mind. So when he when this linebacker bumped out, he kind of created some doubt in the quarterback's mind. So he aborted that part of the play. All right, part two. Part two is the swing screen. All right, how are they going to defend the swing screen? This linebacker, we had practiced all week. If he doesn't go with the swing, then he's he can run the power blocking. Uh, the power play is the quarterback's escape route. So once again, let's go over it from the very beginning. Flop the back, motion across, quick game to the left, swing screen to the right, and power blocking. Once again, I don't necessarily agree with the quarterback's decision on this example. Uh, as you can see, the guy that we would really love to take advantage of in the quick game is this linebacker, and he is able to come out here just enough to play with the quarterback's mind and then get back in the box and make the tackle. Okay, now it's still a 9 or 10-yard gain. I guess I shouldn't be too upset about that, but I do believe that we would have had a much bigger gain if he had come outside with, with the ball. One last time. Motion across, quick game concept here, and you can run any quick game concept. It doesn't have to be this one. Swing screen to the other side, power blocking inside, and that's not a great running back or great runner at quarterback there. You can see it's just an average high school uh, quarterback. Um, but I believe when you add these concepts, and those are just examples, I think you give the offense a tremendous advantage to take care of uh, numbers. You create plus one situations. You create chunk plays. Uh, and I guess I shouldn't be upset with a 10-yard gain, but – I really would have liked for the ball to get out here in this open space with some athletes and see what they could do. All right. Thanks for watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Bang that bell for those notifications. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, email me at perfectplayfootball uh, at gmail.com. Uh, make comments down below. Once again, thanks for watching and uh, score points.